Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, also known as Brandon. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel, uh, <laughs> so pretty much what I do on a, a weekly basis, I go to uh, garage sales, thrift stores, occasional thr uh, thrift stores. I do abandoned storage units, uh, estate sales, bin store videos, like you guys name it. And I basically find profitable items to flip online uh, so I can make money and pay the bills. And uh, I don't know, future retirement, I don't know. <laughs> so um, if you guys are into that, uh, these type of videos, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. Uh, if not, just enjoy your stay here. So once again, it is uh, Tuesday afternoon. We have done this millions of times and it is 10, 15 at night. And uh, we got a little bit of, little bit of uh, packages to pull, pack and ship out for tomorrow morning. Not a whole lot of sales for today. Over the weekend, we did you know decently okay from the last What's Old video. Um, uh, but we have six items going out for right at $200. So, nothing too crazy, I don't think. Um, one sale did kind of surprise me. Um, but other than that, nothing too spectacular. So hopefully the sales during this week will be a little bit better. Um, I have been listing. I've been listing a ton lately. Um, <laughs> matter of fact, we'll, you know, we'll give you guys a quick little, uh, little update. So I kind of, you know, cleaned this up uh, a little bit, not a whole lot. We did get a lot of bigger items listed, um, and this was uh, a Wii. So I want to I want to explain something to you guys. So this past weekend, where I found the Nintendo 64, all that video game stuff, the telescope. So we got all of that listed. Um, I actually might be keeping the Nintendo 64. But if you guys remember in that video, she brought out all this Wii stuff, um, and she said 75 bucks, and I talked her down to 60 dollars, and she like accepted it right away. I didn't realize there was two Wii's that she brought out. I thought it was just one. That's why I said 60 because I thought that was more than fair. But I didn't realize there was two. So now I feel bad. Um, so I let my wife have one for our own video collection. And this one is the one that's going online. And matter of fact, I did open up, uh, or not open, I'm sorry. I did power both of them up. But yeah, there was uh, actually two Wii Sports. Um, there's this one, which is the one I'm gonna be pairing with that uh nintendo wii and then we found another one that was inside uh actually the game that was inside this was actually wii uh fit so uh we pretty much put this one in here so uh this one will sell by itself all right guys let's keep you updated with the room here um still a little messy we still have all those guitar hero guitars to list um but we did list the telescope um a couple of my bins are kind of in different spots because i've just been kind of rearranging all of this stuff is gonna have to go eventually. I'm, I'm working on it, I promise. Um, we got the chill and grill set listed. These things are actually very rare, especially the NFL ones. Um, I think these are one of a kind. I think they're from the 80s. Um, but it, these are very, very, very hard to find. So I'll put a premium up on eBay to see if they will sell, but I did put a best offer on them. And I need to clear this stuff off because this is not inventory. Um, but yeah, we got a bunch of big items that we listed. Um, and yeah we got a bunch of video games listed as well two toes are missing because you know they're they're kind of all over the place um eventually we're gonna add another rack here eventually um it's just gonna just takes a little time uh and the time and the time that i have right now is very bad <laughs> so uh everything in here all of these racks and this rack is still all um inventory i have to go through uh i don't know if you guys can see this too well but it's literally all Pokemon cards, man. I just gotta, I gotta sit down one day and kind of go through all of them. I don't think there's anything crazy in here. I think these are the ones that are gonna be like more of a bulk uh, type thing. I think these are gonna be a bit of the better ones. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like some reverse hollows and whatnot. So, um, got all that. Uh, pretty sure you guys have seen this, but there's some vintage toys in here that we still have to list. Uh, there is die cast cards. Um, uh nintendo power magazines i need to get those listed um so i had an idea so tell me what you guys think about this idea so as you guys know i source every weekend um and of course maybe once during the week i might go to a bin store or i might go on a sunday or something like that um but usually i try to uh stop by there every two or three weeks even though i probably should go there a lot more often <laughs> but it's just so hard to get down there because of how busy i am so anyways tell me what you guys think so i think every day whenever i whatever days i list 
I'm thinking about coming in here and focusing on one tote, you know, so for instance, I Monday morning comes around, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna fold this tote. Don't know what's in it, but I'm gonna figure it out and that's what I'm gonna list, okay? So let's just see if this is the first one that I'm gonna be picking up and let me actually take this down real quick. All right guys, so I actually pulled this off. So this one's actually a very big tote and this is all filled with die cast cars. So if you guys remember the die cast car storage unit, that's literally what all this is, you guys. I'm talking about whenever I say there's still a lot of it, there is a lot. So uh, there's this one and I'm pretty sure all these are die cast cars. I'm, I'm almost sure. Um, but then again, I could be wrong. Um, but there's there's all types of stuff in here, man. Like there's more records in there, I think. Yeah, so there's more records in there from storage units and whatnot. All right, guys, so I pulled that one right there. And look, more die cast cars. I'm telling you, all this stuff went on the back burner because I listed <laughs> maybe 300 die cast cars or something like that. And it's been ridiculous on how fast those things went. Um, I do need to work on them. But let's uh, let's pull like one or two more tubs just to kind of see what I'm working with. And uh, we'll get into the uh, six orders. All right, guys, so I'll pull that one. And again, die cast cars. So let me see if I can find another tote that is not die cast cars. <laughs> one sec. All right, guys, so just to make it easier, I'm going to just pull this one. <laughs> so, I mean, there's all types of random stuff in here. Bronze Series 5, Holster. Um, oh, portable D... Uh, Portable DVD player. I mean, there's just all types of stuff in here, man. Like records. What is this? Oh, another Southern Living at Home thing. Uh, back when <laughs> we cleaned out that one unit. These are X Men cards. So, yeah, all this stuff is just laying around and we need to do something about it. Some manga books. Uh, looks like we got some video game stuff in there. Uh, you know, Legos and all types of stuff <laughs> so uh with that being said um that just shows you guys how far behind we are but it's not like we're not working it's just you know i have to accumulate so much items you know something's going to the back burner so sorry for that long intro just want to kind of give you guys an update of what i have to work with and i have a ton more in my garage <laughs> so um so yeah let's go ahead and pull these six orders real quick all right guys so we actually just got another order in which will make it uh seven uh sales going out for 240 ish dollars so almost 250 dollars so um just want to update you guys on that so let's go and pull our, uh, our first item <laughs> so uh the first one gonna be right here in a4 and we are looking for the walking dead and you guys you know if you guys do not pick up media dvds and whatnot uh you know if you guys can find sets they are great um, so I got these for, I think a dollar a piece or something. Uh, The Walking Dead seasons one through four. And these right here sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, over here in N8, we have a DeWalt battery. Uh, battery. <laughs> so this one is DW9096. And yes, that is it. So this is a DeWalt 18 volt battery and it sold for $24 plus shipping. All right, guys, back over here to A4. We actually have a set of pins going out. These are a pair of cross pins, like riding pins. Uh, this is from the diecast car storage unit, um, and that's what they look like. So very cool, and these set of pins sold for $19.99, free shipping. All right, guys, had these for a long, long time, but we have a K&N uh, filter, and it's going to be YA dash 6001 and there it is right there this is from the motorcycle buyout i did i already made tons of money on this deal and this one right here sold for 44.95 free shipping all right wrapping back around here to a2 and we are looking for a willow tree uh this one is called happiness so this is a little figure uh if you guys do not know what willow tree is willow tree does very well over on ebay that is the brand name right there and i got this for five bucks and it sold for 24.99 Plus shipping all right guys so this next item going out is going to be an item that surprised me um so I, it took me a minute to find it because it was actually behind this because i just posted this today and i was like where in the world is it so um this one is a what is the brand it's called fesco made in the usa it's almost like a woven a woven basket but it's like plastic um very cool got that old yellow look maybe i don't know 70s 80s this right here actually sold for $17 plus shipping. So if you guys see like vintage waste baskets, they can go for a little bit of money. 
All right, guys, if you guys remember that storage unit where we pretty much made all of our money back within a few days, we actually sold a model kit, and it's gonna be this one, the only sealed one we had, which is a 1969 Corvair. This one is a Ertl ERTL, and uh, it is a model kit. This right here sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And we actually sold another item. <laughs> so that brings us up to eight items going out for about $275, which is music to my ears because really needed that uh, that sale. <laughs> so uh, we actually have a Nintendo Wii game coming out, or going out, and it's gonna be Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. This was part of that deal this past weekend where we found the 64 and the Wii and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, Metroid Prime's Corruption. And yeah, this is a pretty cool game. This right here sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, and that is everything that is going out today. We will see you guys Thursday with what sold. And if anything uh, that we need to update you guys on, we will. And yeah, wish me luck this week. Hopefully the sales get a little better. All right, see you guys in just a sec. Hey guys, so check it out, it's your boy. Sorry I am interrupting your video right now, but as you guys can see, I got a beautiful purple and white shirt on. It says super clean, and of course, with the purple and white uh, ball cap <laughs> or snapback, whichever you guys you guys prefer. But we're gonna wear it professional because at the end of the day, we are professional. So check this out. So super clean reached out to me through an email, and they wanted me to test some of their products. And if I honestly enjoyed it. Um, I was going to share it with you guys, so I thought it would be a great way to show you guys uh, what kind of products they have. So, alright guys, as you guys can see here, there's three different products that Super Clean sent us. The Super Clean Tough Task Cleaner Degreaser. We also have Super Clean for uh, all wheel cleaner for your vehicles, uh, their tires and whatnot. Um, but it also does like other stuff as well. And then of course, these two I believe are identical except for this right here is in an aerosol can. So I would imagine it might have a little bit of a spread. So let's just see what it looks like. All right, so we're just gonna spray a little bit right here. And yeah, so like, like I thought, it has like a, a spread to it, which can actually be a little bit better for what uh, we're potentially doing. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how well this stuff works. So we're probably gonna be using the aerosol can because it does have a spread um, on this bat. And as you guys can see here, there's a tons of grime. I don't know you, how well you guys can see that, but there's tons of it. And we're going to try to clean this as best as we can. And we're gonna see the before and after difference of this baseball bat. So let's go ahead and get to work. All right guys, so we've got the super cleaner right here and we're just going to spray. I'm not really sure how much to spray on it. That was probably a little overkill, but that is okay. This is for a purpose video. Boom, spread that on there. Look at, look at the foam. Absolutely love it. One thing I will say about this stuff though, it is extremely strong. So whenever you guys use it, maybe don't use it as much as I am. <laughs> so we're gonna leave it there just for a sec, let it sit. And then we're going to take my little toothbrush and we're going to do little small circles around it just to see how well this can clean up. And then of course we have my dirty little rag right here that I normally clean stuff with and we're gonna see what happens. All right guys, so now we have our baseball bat. As you guys see, there's some crud here. We're going to, you know, just do a few circles just to see how well we can get this stuff off. So we're gonna do a time lapse of how clean this stuff can get. And uh, we'll show you guys before and after. All right guys, so now after that preview, let's just take a quick look exactly how well this stuff cleaned this bat off. Now, I won't lie, it actually does look a whole lot better. One thing I do wanna say is I'm not getting paid to do this, just so you guys know. They were just uh, uh, awesome enough to send me three of their products to where if I actually do enjoy it, you guys could potentially purchase their products. I believe they're all, they're everywhere, man. They're in Walmart, O'Reilly's, they're, they're you know online, Amazon, you guys name it, and you guys can get your own products. But this right here looks extremely clean for what it was. There's, and these are right here just a little bit more scuff marks or maybe paint chippings. These are not exactly what that gunk was. Um, but that right there, I ain't gonna lie, that looks very, very clean compared to what it was. So, yeah, so this, this is very clean. So that is exactly what uh, this does right here. 
Um, you guys can use all uh, use this stuff for all types of stuff. Your ovens, countertops, you guys name it. Um, of course, they have a diluting system, which actually comes with uh, your package. And it'll tell you guys how exactly how much to dilute with water. Um, see, like for instance, this one right here can be used for brakes, grills, engines, and it's, it's an all-purpose uh, uh, cleaner and degreaser so very cool item there but th that right there is what's going to make this bat sell even better because now that it's cleaned up a little bit i should be able to get a little bit more money for it all right guys so we're out here in my driveway and if you guys can see here we have a thing of oil a little bit and a thing of oil right there so from my knowledge is this stuff will actually work on oil <laughs> so let's go ahead and give it a shake Spray it on there. We'll go and spray it on that little small one. Well, kind of went around it, huh? There we go. Make sure that's on there. And we're going to let it sit just for a few minutes and we're going to get it up. Oh, there you go. The wife is doing it even better. That's why she's on my team. Look at that. All gone. All right, let's do this one. Go ahead, baby. You can do the honors. Oh, yeah, see, this one's a little bigger. Wow. You <laughs> see, just smear right off. As my puppies are kind of going crazy. Wow. Look at that. That looks amazing. <laughs> looks pretty dang good to me. Yeah. Alright guys, check it out. So now we got the rag and we have super clean all wheel cleaner this is my wife's tire so this is how dirty it is okay we're not gonna do the whole tire we're gonna do like a portion of it and uh, we're gonna show you guys the difference oh it'd be nice to turn it on there you go that's the first step you guys whenever you guys get the stuff you make sure you turn it on <laughs> all right that's the first step okay oh got a little foamy action all right so we're gonna do just that little bit of part of the wheel all right now i'm gonna let it sit for a sec we are going to scrubby dub dub Keep in mind, we're not doing the full tire, but just to get the basics of what this product can do, I ain't gonna lie, it's a huge difference. <laughs> it is a huge difference, so. You see the difference right there? You know, the thing about Super Clean too is, the product is actually product affordable too. It's not crazy expensive, and the fact that they're everywhere and convenient and most retail stores, to be honest, they uh, they have some great stuff from what I'm seeing between the baseball bat, this tire, and my own driveway <laughs> is uh, it's actually making our lives a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, so just a basic uh, clean down just on this side of the tire. You guys can see clearly the difference. And for what, 30 seconds of time, maybe a minute of scrubbing. Now, of course, I could do the whole tire, but I'm not going to just for time purposes. So um obviously i wouldn't recommend this to you guys if i didn't like it and this is the first time that we used it and i think you can agree too babe that it's a pretty good quality stuff totally. of course you know we got the shirt on we got the hat you know we got the purple drip on you know what i'm saying um but i mean as you guys can see here again you know this is foolproof right i mean it's it, it cleaned it up <laughs> so i don't know what else to tell you guys the only thing i will say is that i would highly recommend these products <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna uh, take it any much more of your time. So let's go ahead and get back to the video Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy the Georgia Picker. Check it out. It is Thursday night and it is a little bit early It's about 9 25 at night and you guys I have been listing like Crazy, I think I listed like 60 to 70 items today alone um, So I've been working very very hard uh, so long story short um, I wouldn't expect to have this many sales so uh I got a lot to pack up, pull, and pack for tomorrow morning. So first and foremost, we are at 22 packages over on eBay for $744.86, which is ridiculous. And then we have two packages going out over on Amazon for a total of $76.99. And for a total for the day is $821.85. That is a uh, lot of work to do. So uh, probably about, Maybe three out of the 24 packages that need to be packed up for tomorrow are going to be kind of hard to ship out, but it is what it is. I mean, not hard, but take a little longer than the rest of them. The rest of them should be going into very simple boxes or um, padded envelopes and stuff like that. So 
uh yeah so uh if you guys are if you guys have made it this far in the video sorry i'm a little zoned out today because i've been so busy um but if you guys have made it this far here in the video hit that subscribe button if you guys are truly enjoying these videos the like button comment uh any kind of questions as well you know comment down below so uh let's go ahead and get to these sales all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and pull the pokemon cards first so bear with me because uh we have five orders of Pokemon cards here. And matter of fact, I actually just listed these uh, yesterday um, from the box right here. I've been kind of casually going through them and I saw these, these were kind of like the different versions. So I decided to put them over here uh, and I've not been through the rest of these, but I had a little bit of spare time and the way I looked at it was, you know, I haven't listed the Pokemon cards in a while. So let's see if we can get a few more listings on there. So that's where this stuff is coming from. So first and foremost, we have this Darmanitan and we actually have a numerous of these going out, um, but this is a single one. This one is a ultra rare, uh, vivid voltage, whatever that means. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, but this one card sold for $1.75. All right, guys, the next one going out is going to be this Drapion. Uh, we actually have six more of these and this one right here sold for $1.73. All right, these three Toja Kisses uh, go into the same buyer. They bought three and it sold for $5.25. This Toja Kiss sold for $1.75. And this person actually bought two of these Darmanitans and uh, they sold for a total of $3.50. All right guys, so the next item going out is going to be a book set called Agatha Christie. Uh, it's these uh, leather collection books and they're actually gonna be right here and uh this is what they look like the agatha christie mystery collection they're like leather and this was from the uh, unit where we found the patio glider and uh there's a set of 15 of them in here and they sold for 55 dollars plus shipping at auction so uh not a bad little sell there all right guys wrapping around here down here into uh b4 let's move this out of the way uh b4 we actually have this uh bose speaker that we picked up i believe for 15 bucks i think not 100 sure yeah pretty sure i didn't talk them down on this but uh yeah this is a bose uh sound link comes with a power cord and uh, it sold for 106 dollars and 50 cents so we got a video game going out so we have this game right here it is the lego movie 2 video game for the playstation 4 and it sold for nine dollars and 99 cents all right wrapping around here to a4 and we actually have a vintage wallet going out and it should be i believe it's gonna be this little thing here if i can reach my hand in there yep there it is right there all right guys so this is a rolf's uh wallet brand new this is actually from the diecast car storage unit so story behind this we found uh or we had a dresser that we have not cleaned out since that unit because it's been in the very back of our storage unit and too much stuff was in the way recently we cleared it out so this is where this comes into play so uh, this is a rolls vintage uh wallet and it sold for 24.99 plus shipping all right guys over here in b4 again my wife actually found uh this at a yard sale where we found the harley davidson uh motorcycle helmets and she asked me was this good i said yeah of course it's good so uh she's the one who gets full credit for this i think we got it for two dollars or maybe a dollar uh since it was half day i guess this sold for 29.99 free shipping all right guys here in a2 originally we got this from the bin store sold it to my neighbor and then he sold it to me back for cheaper than what i sold it to him because he wanted to get out of the ebay business so this is a comfort zone calming diffuser home kit uh very cool piece essentially i bought this for six bucks so probably now i have less than a dollar into it and it sold for 37.99 free shipping all right guys over here on r1 we are actually looking for a motorcycle uh headset i guess is what it is and here it is right here we got this from that veteran community sale where i paid up for a little bit of stuff because i paid them more than what they asked uh this is a tcom vb helmet intercom headset and it sold for 39.99 free shipping all right guys so i bought a uh, sorbet maker um, at a garage sale and I decided to uh, part it out just because um, you know sometimes you can get more money by parting something out um, than to sell the actual thing so uh, this right here is actually like the outer shell I guess is what it's called um, it's called a top lid I guess I don't know I've spent four dollars on the whole machine and this one right here sold for $9.99 plus shipping all right guys so we actually have a diecast car going out we are going to be looking in the Q bin and we're looking for Q17. Let's 
see if we can knock all these down and should be this one right here this dub city 2002 cadillac escalade you know as you guys know we have a ton of diecast cars left <laughs> Uh, but uh, Q17 Dub City Jada Toys Escalade sold for $3.25 plus shipping. All right, guys, recently picked this next video game up and it's going to be NCAA Football 2013. I believe this is where we found the Nintendo 64 in the box, I believe. NCAA Football 2013 for the 360 and it sold for $24.99 free shipping. All right, so also from that same garage sale, I'm pretty sure, um, is going to be this game right here the house of the dead two and three return i don't know if you guys remember this game that actually used to be a, a, an arcade game um i don't know if it was on a, a console before that i'm assuming it was uh but it's for the nintendo wii and this sold for 24.99 free shipping all right guys so we got a little big ticket item here um this is from that motorcycle buyout i did a long time ago uh we have already tripled our money pretty much on uh on this deal um and on top of that we still have the whole tote of motorcycle parts which i did not know i had because i sold my neighbor all of the motorcycle parts originally but i didn't know i had that last one but he made a, he made a killing off all that before he got out of the business but this is a dino jet power commander 3 for a honda cbr 600 brand new never used and it sold for 140 free shipping all right got another video game going out <laughs> i'm telling you man it's like the the way it goes over here on eBay, man, like you'll go like two weeks without selling a single video game and then you'll sell five in a day. <laughs> uh, but this is Stuntman Ignition for the PS3 and it sold for $9.99, free shipping. All right, over here in A3, yep, this is A3. Let's see if we can see if we can find it. We're looking for a voice recorder. Um, this is actually where we put every single one of these uh, video cassette recorders. And uh, those sold extremely quick. Um, got a bunch of them from my neighbor for 20 bucks. Um, and we made a lot of money off of that. This is an Olympus digital voice recorder. And this right here sold for $14.99 plus shipping. All right, over here on R7, we actually have this Mr. Coffee Cocoa Motion. If you guys ever see these out there in the wild, make sure you guys pick them up. Uh, brand new, they can go for quite a bit of money. And uh, this one right here um, is pre-owned. Uh, but I believe I got this for maybe whew, six bucks at a Goodwill, something like that, six ninety nine, and it sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. What you doing? No, making the bed. Making the bed. Yeah. Hey, the popper. I was showing them how great of a job you cleaned the house. I hope I did good enough. Did pretty good. Yeah, if you guys have never seen our room, this is our room. She got like all her Harry Potter stuff here. Got my little workout thing here if you guys can see a little bed you know we got a little tv right here you know what i'm saying um yeah this is her collection i don't know if you got how well you guys can see that but yeah got a bunch of harry potter stuff and you know all types of stuff look at that very all cool provided by the best husband in freaking world heck yeah brandon hackle yeah because you're awesome i know you want to say anything to the people since you haven't been on camera in a while Unless it was a garage sale video. I stopped smoking. I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> so really encourage me to stop and to lose weight. Cause I'm a fat cow. No you're not. No, but I gotta be your trophy wife, you know. You already are. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Oh, give me a kiss. Mwah. Okay. Oh, and there's beautiful Piper. Beautiful, watch this you guys, ready? Watch Piper, can I get the belly? Give me the belly. Come on. Let me get that belly. Let me get that belly. Come on. Roll over. Give me that belly. I don't want to touch you yet. Give me the belly. You better give me that belly. Give me the belly. You're not going to do it for the camera? She don't want to do it for the camera. Aww. She don't want to do it for the camera. But. Do for the Yeah. Just want to see what the wifey's up to. But um, the real reason why we came down here was uh, I got to pull um, a couple things from this tote down here because it honestly is so freaking heavy that i can't pick it up i'm sorry um you could have told me to move it all no that's fine Ugh. but uh it's so freaking heavy i can't take it upstairs so i have to um come down here so yeah if you guys remember all these game pods <laughs> we actually sold uh two sets of them so 
essentially the story behind these i bought these for seven bucks a piece so i would have had 14 dollars a piece into each set and i sell them in lots of two and uh my i sold them all to my neighbor um and then he got out of the ebay game again um like i've been saying and uh, i got less than seven dollars a piece into these um so essentially uh one set sold for 41.99 so this right here is 83 ish dollars all in on uh just four things of uh game blast uh if you guys not know about this um discontinued like laundry stuff and dish soap like all types all types of stuff that's been discontinued you can go for some crazy money um i think i'm one of the first people who actually hopped on this um we were in athens georgia for at a uh, georgia bulldog game and me and the wife were like let's hop into this goodwill went to the goodwill found a few things um and then uh this is on our way home and then we stopped at ollie's where we got all this stuff from and just happened to look them up and they were on crazy sale and i was like i need to uh buy these so yeah so that's why i have all of them now all right guys so now let's pull the amazon orders we only have two um yeah that was pretty much everything though where you figure you know uh with these two amazon orders it's 24 uh items and this is actually my last one. Oh no <laughs> So this is my last blue thermos lunch kit. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, insulated lunch kit and it sold for $16.99. Uh, I think plus shipping, so not a bad little sale. We're coming in here and we've actually made quite a good you know, work through here. Um, so in here, we're actually looking for this towel dispenser and we actually sold this over on Amazon. A while back, I got a bunch of racks got all those air filters and all that type of stuff all of this stuff came from that same warehouse the dude was moving and he just did not want to take anything with uh, with him so i basically got majority of this stuff for free if not free i got a couple bucks into each box or something uh but this right here is what sold this is a lever roll towel dispenser and it sold for 60 dollars over on amazon all right guys and that is all 24 items going out for over 800 dollars um yeah insane day of sales and that what that has to do with too is the fact that i've been listing a lot Lot more but also to bringing that traffic to uh the ebay store um also too is also q4 as well so people are buying a lot more than normal uh but yeah not a bad little uh not bad little sales day um so yeah we will see you guys sunday night with uh what's sold and uh, hopefully it's a great weekend as well so we'll see you guys in just a sec yo what's going on everybody so check it out if you guys made it this far in the video it is sunday and that means we're going to tell you guys uh what is sold over the weekend and it is 9 20 at night so we're getting a head start on uh the process of pulling packing and shipping our items out for tomorrow morning and uh, we actually had a really good weekend um at least i think so um we have 21 items going out over on ebay for 894 dollars and 64 cents and then we have one item that my wife sold over on poshmark for 30 dollars. so she's gonna pull her first item and then i am going to be pulling my items over on ebay so let's get it started there's the wifey hi guys what's going on all right let's show them uh what you sold where are you going it. where's that is it not in the closet oh, is it? i don't know is it maybe possibly i thought it was in my closet is it in your closet yeah, okay yeah. let's go to your closet okay all right we are in the wifey's room she has not been in here in like a year <laughs> don't exaggerate <laughs> Ooh, I explained where we got it, all that good stuff. We got it in a storage unit? Yes, we did. Which yeah. storage unit is it? <laughs> What's the unit that has made us lots of money? It's not the heart attack one. Nope. It's before that. Mm hmm. It is before. Punch? Nope. I honestly think we got it at Goodwill. <laughs> I think we got it at Goodwill. Yeah, we did get it at Goodwill. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah. And we got it for thirty dollars. Yeah. What is it though? Explain. It's a Pendleton pea coat, extra small, <laughs> cause my big butt can't fit in it. <laughs> but it's it's very soft. I like it. Yeah, it'd be cool for like St. Patrick's Day. I think it'd be really cool. Christmas time. Oh, oh yeah, Christmas. Yeah, there you go. And then you know their friend can get like a matching red one and be like cute twinsy. Well, they wouldn't be twins because of their colors. You know what I mean. Color coordinated. Hey, get out. Get out. <laughs> Max, what are you doing? Yeah, that's what, what I sold. Hope y'all are proud of me. Ha ha ha. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pendleton, like, Peacoat? Yeah. yeah. So, there you go. That's the first sale uh, of the weekend. All right, guys, we're back in my room. So now we have 21 items to pull over on eBay for $894.64. Um, I already got two items pulled because they were uh, in my garage. Um, if, if you guys watched the video on YouTube where it's called uh, Once in a Lifetime Deal where I'm going to make around uh, 14000 uh, close to $15,000 uh off of that one deal for the sporting equipment and stuff so <clears throat> so we have these two here so we actually sold a strike zone target and that's all it is is basically a target specifically for like the actual baseball nets um so this one right here sold for $24.99 free shipping <clears throat> and then uh this five by five baseball net i'm pretty sure it's five by five um this is the one that we have like 30 plus yeah so this is a five by five and this right here sold for 50 dollars. so uh not a bad little 75 dollars worth of stuff from that deal all right guys so we went ahead and pulled the pokemon cards now uh there's only three sales of pokemon cards which are going to be right here uh so these are these two are going to two different buyers and they both sold for one dollar and 75 cents and these three are going all to the same buyer. Um, and what's really cool about these cards is that I actually listed these just out, just randomly one night. I was a little bit bored and I was like, you know what? Haven't listed Pokemon cards in a while. Let's just list like, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 of them or so. And uh, these have been selling really quick. Uh, but these three sold to the same buyer for $5.23. All right, guys, now we're finally in the loft. <laughs> so we're gonna be looking right here in A4. We have an auction that ended uh, on Friday afternoon, so it's too late to uh, ship it out. But this right here is a lot of 162 vintage uh, Girl Scout uh, patches from like the 90s. Uh, very clean. There's 162 of them. This is from the unit where we found the patio glider like numerous months back and i finally got time around to list everything so that's just crazy whenever you think about it. when you guys do storage units some inventory will sit for a little while until you can actually get to it that's the beautiful thing about it uh we already made all of our money back from that unit uh a long time ago but uh this right here sold for 39 dollars plus shipping all right guys uh going over here to b1 that one weekend where we found all of that uh loot crate stuff um <laughs> We decided to list a few things. We decided to keep a few things and yeah. So we are going to make a little bit of money on that deal. We've spent 60 bucks all in on the loot crate stuff and then 40 bucks on that uh, Buzz Lightyear. The Buzz Lightyear should get all of our money back and the rest of the stuff is, you know, a little money here and there. But uh, this Marvel Hulk six inch bowl uh, sold for $9.99, free shipping. All right guys, coming over here. I actually have C1 just sitting right here, which is fine. We're actually looking for this right here. Very cool. This is from that Department 56 deal I did at that estate sale, all for $1,500. And uh, yeah, we should make $3,000 around that uh, from that deal because I priced everything very conservative. Uh, this is Bright Lights Lighted Village Accessory Set of Four. This right here sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, coming over here to the video games. We have a game going out, which is going to be disc only. I'm not sure where we got this from. Uh, I don't know if it was from a deal from my neighbor. I don't know where we got this from, but we have little to no money into it. And this is Lost World Jurassic Park uh, for the PS1, and it sold for $9.99. Free shipping. All right, guys, so we're here in the closet real quick. We're going to pull a couple orders from here. Um, so this right here we got from that veteran... Uh, sell. Um, I paid uh, more money than they asked because what I got was pretty quality stuff. Um, this was a Chinese version of Toon Squad. <laughs> um, and it's Tweety one third on the back. Very cool. Um, I think somebody's trying to get this uh, right before Halloween. So, uh, But this right here sold for $15 plus shipping. Hey guys, so the next item going out is going to be right here. This is where I've had like beginning of my eBay business. I probably just need to take all this stuff off my off my ebay store but uh this kyle bush hat <laughs> uh eminem's racing hat finally sold uh <laughs> i have little to no money in it uh and it sold for eight dollars plus shipping all right guys so also here in the closet one of these harley davidson helmets sold and it's gonna be the large one yep there it is right there if you guys remember at that estate sale well i guess i guess it was a state sale um somebody passed away and they were apparently they had the yard sale all week and i've 
didn't see it. But uh, yeah, this helmet, uh, there's two of these, that one and the other one in the closet, we're just sitting there and he said, everything's half price. So I got this, this right here for $7.50 for a Harley Davidson helmet. When I started looking these things up, I got really excited. So $7.50 and this thing right here sold for $160 for this Harley Davidson helmet. So you guys do the math. That is a lot of uh, ROI from this and it only sat for a few weeks and we still have the other one which should sell for around the same price. So yeah, if you guys see a helmet like that and you guys can get it cheap, make sure you guys pick it up. All right, so this next item is actually a really cool item. This is actually from the diecast car storage unit. Um, we cleaned out um, one of the dressers that were sitting in the very back of my uh, store of my personal storage unit, and we found a drawer that had a bunch of gold in it and stuff like that. And uh, there was like over twelve hundred dollars, or how much was it? it was like twelve hundred dollars worth of gold or something like that. Um, and we found little knickknacks like this, but. Uh, this is a Marlboro Cigarette 72's Anniversary Zippo Lighter. So very cool. Uh, this right here sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right guys, so this next item, I'm gonna go ahead and pull both of them. Um, so if you see here, there we go. Ah. All right, so this one is gonna be an A1. And if you guys remember that, a, the, a different estate sale that I went to, um, got like a Kirby vacuum cleaner, a bunch of PS4 games, um, couple other things these are called solvaderm this right here is a bolo item for you guys make sure you guys mark it down solvaderm so there's two of these for five dollars a piece and these are going out to two separate buyers and both of them sold for fifty dollars plus shipping so if you guys see the solvaderm stuff out there and you guys can pick it up cheap make sure you guys pick it up fifty dollars plus shipping all right guys coming back over here to c1 we are looking for a this i think it's this yeah this thing <laughs> so this one didn't have a box but it's still very very cool it's like a little horse and and whatnot um but uh yeah this right here sold for 9.99 plus shipping and this is from that uh department 56 deal i did at the estate sale so just wanted to clarify it all right so something that i've had for Quite a while um, from that Southern Living at Home storage unit. That's what I call it because there's just tons of Southern Living at Home stuff. Um, but it's going to be this Pampered Chef um, stackable cook rack. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, right there. Boom. Stackable cook rack. She had tons of brand new stuff, uh, all Southern Living um, and Pampered Chef stuff. But uh, this right here finally sold for $10. Plus shipping. All right, I think the most exciting sale of the day, or I guess the weekend, is going to be this massive beautiness in front of us. <laughs> so this is a Bushnell computerized star locator. Bought this for 50 bucks at that yard sale where I found like the Nintendo 64, a um, bunch of Wii stuff and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this thing right here sold for a total of $210. Uh, that is uh, that is insane. Um, these are actually very hard to come by. Um, and what made me look this up was uh, Worth Point. I, th uh, I think the last one on Worth Point sold for like 179, so I put it out there for 210 and just see what would happen. And uh, yeah, that's what it sold for, and it will go UPS. All right, guys. So next item going out is going to be something that we did for retail arbitrage. Um, with this particular item, it is not uh, a whole lot of money. Uh, to be honest, but we did pick this up at a retail arbitrage. Um, this is actually on clearance for whatever reason. This is Raw 10 Cygor. I don't really know what it is for. It's McFarland Toys. I know that. But I got uh, $10 into this and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. All right, guys, coming over here to B4 and it's going to be a inflatable, inflatable protective collar. There you go. Um, got this like a dollar at a yard sale in front of city hall uh of all places <laughs> so uh this right here sold for 14.99 free shipping all right over here on r2 we have one of these uh basiest things going out not making a whole lot of money here either uh but we bought each of these for one dollar and six dollars a piece and this right here sold for 15 dollars plus shipping 
All right, guys, so that's gonna be all the sales for the weekend um, for a total of $924.64. Um, I have been listing like crazy because I got a lot of inventory that I wanna list right before, uh, you know, before Christmas, right? And on top of that, I go to Oklahoma uh, in November, um, at the end of November, on the 17th through the 22nd, so there might not be any uh, content from that time frame. Um, but that's why I got a lot, of, a lot of stuff to do before then. Um, but yeah, sales are uh, crazy this weekend. I am truly blessed. Um, also too, let's see how many subscribers we're at because you know you know how I like to keep you guys updated. Wow, we're at 1,531 subscribers. Oh no, I'm sorry, no, it updated. 1,000, whoa, oh my good. <laughs> All right, hold on. I know this number ain't real. Let me, let me check, wow. We're at 1,551 subscribers. That jumped up 20 subscribers for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, 1,551, that is insane. We just hit 1,500 just the other day. Like, I, <laughs> if you look at my uh, community tab, yeah, look at this, it's official. 1,500 subscriber mark checked out. That was two days ago. And we've already been up 50 subscribers. That is insane. Thank you guys so much for real. Like, you guys have no idea how much that actually means to me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, all the hard work's paying off. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, uh, we'll see you guys next video, next journey, uh, next deal, whenever that happens. And, uh, you guys will be the first to see it over here on YouTube. Uh, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker, the young Jedi. Peace. Yeah.